Hi friends, welcome to the fifth tutorial of Comsol Multiphysics, presented by me, Hishendu Mitra, research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. In the last four videos, I taught you how to model model different fluid dynamics problem and heat transfer related problem by using Comsol Multiphysics. But uh, many a times, what happens? Uh, if you want to model a complicated problem then you need to define your own equations because that will not match with the classical equations which those modules provide. So in that case uh, you should have the opportunity to define your own equation and COMSOL gives you that particular opportunity where you can define your own differential equations and you can define the boundary conditions and the domain you can also select. So today in this lecture I will show you how to use COMSOL multiphysics to define your own equation or how to use the mathematics module of COMSOL. So for the time being to do so I take a 2D problem and then I look for mathematics module here it is and then click here and expand it then you can see there are several options the first one is the PDE interface where there are many options like coefficient form PD, general form PD, waveform PD and weak form PD. Those are nothing but different kinds of representation of partial differential equation uh, which we will be learning in the class of partial differential equation. And there are another options but the useful options I can mm, I can tell you are those those classical PDs where if you expand you will see Laplace equation, Poisson equation, wave equation, Helmholtz equation, heat equation and many things. So in this case I will show you how to use Laplace equation but before going into that I will tell you this coefficient form PD gives you the opportunity to define your own equation by just changing the coefficient of the PD. I will make a separate video on this but for the time being I will teach you how to use uh, this mathematical module to, uh, to solve problems by classical P using classical PDs. So if I, uh, if I show you I have uploaded a video where I solve a heat transfer in solid problem. So what it was, there was a rectangular block of metal and the walls were kept at different temperature T1, T2, T3 and T4. And T1 was kept at a higher temperature say 400 Kelvin and the rest was kept at room temperature. So if you see this problem was basically a Laplace equation problem in steady state obviously. In steady state the equation looks like del square t del x square plus del square t del y square equal to 0. So this is a steady state heat equation in 2D the nature of the equation this particular equation is called Laplace equation. So when we were taking heat transfer in solid problem basically we were solving Laplace equation if it would have been a steady state case. So instead of taking heat transfer module we can do it by using this classical PD which is called Laplace equation. So I will show this thing so here I go and take Laplace equation and click on add and then take the study the study would be stationary study it is always stationary study for mathematical modeling ok now what I do I go to geometry and make it centimeter again and then click on and take square say the length of the square is 5 centimeter each yeah now 
see in in the case of uh, when we, we we had taken the module of heat transfer it was the solution space but now I have taken Laplace equations but still we need to define the domain of the Laplace equation where it will be solving the problem or the equation so the Laplace equation uh, I'll show you one thing you go here click on show and then click on equation view yeah then the equation will be shown yeah so this is the Laplace equation which will solve that is the divergence of minus grad u equal to 0 which is nothing but the equation I have shown you earlier and that is the solution space then that is the domain where we will be solving the differential equation now I need to define my boundary conditions and boundary conditions are of different types and uh, here the constant boundary conditions we will be using and those are called Dirichlet boundary conditions we all know uh, I need to define two Dirichlet boundary conditions one this is this one where I will keep it at a higher value say 400 and the other three at 298 or room temperature so basically this one is representing your temperature here u is representing the temperature and I kept this wall at 400 and other walls at 298 Kelvin 298 not Kelvin because we have taken uh, differential equation so there is no unit that is why it is showing 1 now I think uh, yeah the Laplace equation problem is defined we do not need any material because in we are solving mathematical equations so to solve the mathematical equations what we need we need to define the solution space we need to give the appropriate boundary conditions and then we have to mesh it and solve it now I go to mesh and build all go to study and compute yeah it has started it is finished actually so you can see this is the profile so the same profile as we have obtained earlier in the problem which we uploaded earlier so if I click it here you can see the temperature is decreasing along this direction so basically this is the value of u we have solved a differential equation which represents the temperature and this is the contour curve if I show you the contour curve the control line yeah so you can see here those are the lines will have isothermal those are the isothermal lines in this case uh, along this line the values of u will be same if I click here see this is 317 again click here it is also 317 317 317 so along this line it will have same value and that is when if it is a temperature it will be called isothermal lines ok so in this video you learned how to use mathematical module mathematical module of ComSol multiphysics we will be uploading uh, several videos on mathematical modeling because it is uh, it is a vast topic and we will cover at least uh, two or three more videos on this particular topic thank you very much and subscribe to my channel